sporadic stuff on these shows, right? It's contemporary song and dance and whatever else, but wow, she's amazing. And now she's sort of moved on, and we'll see where it goes from her, or from here rather, with her when she comes in just after 3.30. Uh, a lady who has done remarkably well and moved on to the next round, heading into the finals on Canada's Got Talent. We're going to meet Julie LaFontaine, and if you like opera, Julie's uh, graciously said she would also do a singing for us as well. So we'll talk about that and give you a little sample of what she does when we come back. You're listening to The Aaron Rand Show on CJAD 800. Martin, final performance of the night. What did you think? Oh, that was... Uh, first of all, your story is so beautiful. This I, The concept that you have this brilliant gift and you chose to say, I'm going to put my kids and my family first is so... I, I think everyone in the world should vote for you. But also, beyond that, beyond that, you have a beautiful, beautiful voice and the notes just flow up like honey. That's Martin Short, and he's talking about my studio guest right now, Julie LaFontaine. Julie, welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. So let's talk about some of that story that impressed Martin Short so much, and that if you haven't watched uh, Canada's Got Talent, you obviously will not know. Uh, you've had this gift to sing the way you do, and you sing opera. Yes, I do. Right. Uh, for how long? Well, I studied, started studying when I was 18, so uh, I'm a few years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> About 25, 27 years now, yeah. And you've always been very good at this. You studied it, but you never really did anything with it because, as you say in the show, you know, you got married. You ended up having how many kids? Four kids. That'll keep you busy. Mm -hmm. uh, and the career, if it was ever going to be a career, sort of took a back seat. Yeah, I still sang and I did like wedding bands and things like that to bring in some money to help okay. with the family, but not nothing that really pursued a solo career that I would have liked to have So then how did you had. get to Canada's Got Talent? I found out that the auditions were happening. My youngest daughter mentioned it to me and I just sort of looked at the website and said, oh, let's click and you could get appointment times, which I thought was very attractive. You don't have to go and stand in line for two days. And I said, oh, couple of, if I have this appointment time, maybe I'll go and they, they won't miss me if I don't show up. And then I ended up uh, just always deciding, okay, I'll go, I'll go. And I remember standing in line and it was only when I finally got the number that my, if you stick on your mm -hmm. shirt, that I said, okay, I guess I'm actually going through with this. So, so you make it onto the show, you do the auditions here in Montreal. That's right. And they're okay. How, how does that work, by the way? Is there a whole big judging thing then, or they just move you through if they think you're good enough? Uh, they, you get moved to the next round. The next round doesn't mean necessarily Toronto, right. but it means that you're in a, a grouping of people that they like. And I actually had a really good standing ovation, and even the judges stood up. And one of them is Misha Bruger gosman who is a classical singer. And she's phenomenal, and it was a, a huge compliment to have her stand for my performance. This so was at the audition you at got the a standing Montreal ovation. At the Montreal audition, yeah. And, and then, so I felt it went well, but they, it still was no guarantee. They still had to look, at, look back at it and pick and choose who they were going to okay. move on. Then you get to the, they eventually pick you, you get to the main stage in Toronto, and then the reaction we just heard from Martin Short, that was one of three, because uh, Stefan Macho was incredibly impressed with you, and the woman you're Misha. talking about, who's basically, it's not an idol to you, but she's someone you respect because Absolutely. she's in the same vein, that kind of singer. Absolutely. And she, she started to just, I don't know what she, I thought she was going to cry. <laughs> yeah, and she said that, that, um, something about me being the standard uh, for opera, and I thought, wow, like that's a huge compliment, because as much as I've always loved to do it, I, I feel like I never dedicated myself to that. I mean, I did wedding band, obviously, I wasn't doing a whole lot right. of opera. Uh, so to have that kind of reaction just really confirmed for me that I, that I actually might be pretty good. <laughs> you have now moved on beyond the semifinals. We had some girls in from Enigma who are now in their semifinals, but this is all sort of delayed, staggered taping, if you will. You were in the first round. You've already made it through, so you're going to be one of the 12 finalists uh -huh. in this whole show. Uh, it's we started off with exciting. over, what, 1,000 people auditioning? Oh, well, in Montreal alone, there was over 1,000. There, uh, there were about... Um, 11,000 acts, which was more like 20,000 people, mm -hmm. uh, because some of the acts are seven or eight people, right. and others are just individuals like myself. So. And you're now down to the final 12. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, that in and of itself is pretty incredible. I'm, I am quite pleased. I bet. <laughs> yeah, it's such a, it's such a surprise to me at this point in my life, because you know, 45, you don't, uh, you don't expect that as a singer to 
really be starting your career then. Right? Although I got to tell you, I, I know nothing about opera necessarily, other than it seems to me there are a lot of people in opera who have managed to maintain careers well into their 40s, 50s, and 60s. So Absolutely. you could certainly do something like this. Yeah, I would be probably at my in my prime right now right if now. I, you know, if, if I, well, I did, I guess, like, if I maintained it. So I guess I maintained it enough to impress Misha. So, <laughs> so what, what do you want to do? I mean, what's the ultimate objective here beyond just winning the competition? Where does that take you? I think it opens doors. You be, you become known to a lot more people. I mean, I love to sing, and I've always wanted to, and this is a, a great opportunity to do that for a lot more people. Uh, small crowds, you know, just one person or thousands of people. It's it's a such a pleasure for me to have that. Um, if this opens doors uh, to being able to make a CD, like that was always a dream of mine, and I, I know you can anybody can make a CD nowadays, pretty much in their basement, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I always really wanted to do that, the big time thing, you know, and and so it'd be a, such you a want thrill. You want to be famous? That'd be great. Uh, What's I'll, wrong I'll with like that? To share my gift. <laughs> Let's. I mean, look at someone like Susan Boyle. We were talking off air. You mentioned to me, and I didn't even remember. She she didn't win. She finished second in Britain's mm -hmm. Got Talent, and you know about the success she's had. When that happened, were you looking at her thinking, "Oh my God, this happened to a nobody"? The same maybe could happen nowhere. to me. Uh, you know, it, it, that's what I loved about the Canada's or the Got Talent franchise is that you there's no age limit like idol and whatever they're, they're 28 years old or whatever and then you're an old has right. been right right but there's no there's no age limit and i think that's beautiful because why limit us let me ask you i don't want to be a downer but let me ask you the question let's say you don't win where do you go from there you put this away again go back to being a mom looking after four kids or have you already have you because you talked about meeting people and contacts that you make you've already met some people uh certainly you know the the process puts you in touch with some people in the business and there's some music labels that are interested and have options to to go with us and sign contracts if they desire so i'm hoping that there's a contact in that sense whether well, win or lose <laughs> so uh you know sometimes the winner is not the most successful person exactly. in the end yeah. so i'm really hoping that there'll be something that comes of that beyond one show and beyond just winning this when do you get when do you go back uh i will have to be back in the week before May 13th, so somewhere around the 7th. And then it'll be televised, the, the final 12 will be televised what day? Uh, on the 13th? On the 13th, which happens to be Mother's Day. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be nice. So that kind of works. How are your kids reacting to all this? They're loving it. They're, they're very impressed with mom that, you know, I didn't crumble <laughs> and that I, I'm giving it a, a shot, you know, and that uh, you have a dream and you live, you go for it. Go for it. You don't have to and stop. And they're seeing it firsthand with their mom. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, I know you only get 90 seconds to perform on the show. Uh, we'll be watching you May 13th, but you're nice enough to, gracious enough to perform something for us today. So what are you going to sing? You don't have to do the whole thing, but... No, I would have to definitely abridge. I'm mean, already 90 seconds trying to do any opera aria in 90 seconds. is crazy, but I will even give you a shorter version. Maybe okay. the, the piece I did uh, for my Montreal audition. Okay. Which... It's called Quando Men Vo Soletta from La Boheme. Okay. And, uh, hopefully I'm picking the right key. <laughs> now, do you want to, do you need to stand to do, do this? Do mind if I stand? Not at all. Okay. So let me just move that mic for you. So... It's uh, hopefully I'm starting on the right note so that it's not way out of my range. <laughs> voice that big you're a tiny little thing <laughs> thank you uh screaming at my children no no no, no. Holy cow, it's I'm working. Just keep doing it <laughs> that was amazing thank you oh, hair going up and listening to that. wow <laughs> listen best of luck on the 13th of may thank uh, you very you're very very lucky and you're very very talented and the combination of those two i guess uh, may take you a lot farther than you ever dreamed so keep the dream alive and thanks for coming by i appreciate oh, thank it thank you it's All been right. such a pleasure